Okay, continuing from my last video, I am going to show you how to create a quadratic formula program from scratch by hand. Alright, first we're going to go into program. We're going to hit new, create new. We're going to name this quad form. So this is going to be Q U A D. F O R N quad form. Oh, oops, quad form. Enter. All right, first thing we're going to do, we're going to go hit program, we'll go prompt, display, okay. prompt. We're going to prompt A, comma, prompt B comma and we're going to prompt C. Enter. Next we're going to go we're going to type in the quadratic formula. As you know it's opposite of B so it's minus B plus or minus square so plus square root plus square root opposite of B plus or minus square minus 4 times AC AC all over 2a. Oh, you gotta remember to put your parentheses there. Over 2a. 2a. A. And then what you're gonna do, this is important right here, we're gonna hit store. Store button is located right there. Store. And what it'll do is it's gonna give you an arrow. Store, and we're gonna store this as D. And then we're gonna hit enter. Alright, next thing, since we have the plus, next next thing is gonna create the minus. So we're gonna just type the entire thing and we're just gonna change this symbol here to a minus. So minus B minus square root of negative four. And I just realized, for when you do the negative, right there, don't hit minus. Hit, hit the actual negative button. So don't hit this button, but hit this button. Minus, negative, four. And what it'll do, it, it'll mess up the entire operation and it won't work. So, times AC. Oh, oops. Ah, dang. Nab it. Times AC C double parentheses. If you don't do a double parentheses, it won't work. Divide by begin parentheses two A and parentheses. You're gonna hit the store button again. Store two and we're gonna do D E this time. Enter. Now, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna hit program. We're gonna scroll over to display. If we want it to display D and E, so display D, comma E, and hit second quit, and there's your formula. So when you go to do this. You're going to hit execute, it'll ask for your A, it'll ask for your B, it'll ask for your C. Of course, I'm not going to get a non-real answer, but when you do get a real answer, you get two X forms right there. X equals blank and X equals blank. So, and well, the blank would be the answer, of course. But that is how to create a quadratic formula on a TI-84+.